Today I'm doing an oil change service on this 2018 Toyota Tundra. I thought I'd bring you along and show you what's involved, including some of the special tools that you'll need. So if you're interested in seeing that job from start to finish, stick around because that is coming up next. These are all the tools that I'm using to do this job. It's all pretty standard stuff, except for those three on the right. Let me explain what I'm talking about. I picked up three different sockets, starting with this AST socket. It's really heavy, really beefy. I like the way it's built, but it just doesn't seem to work on this Tundra and other applications, so it's a no-go. I tried this one from ASR, which has these detents in it, but it doesn't have the 14 flat socket like these other two, so it doesn't quite feel right. I went with the performance tool socket. It's got a half inch drive, so what I usually do is put an adapter on it so I can just use my 3 8 socket. This has the 14 flats inside the socket, and it also has these detents to grab the tabs on the oil filter. So this is the one that I use. It's kind of a simpler design, but it works well, especially on this application. All right, I'm gonna lift it up now, and I'll meet you back under the car. Stick with me. Removing these three screws, they hold the plastic bumper cover to the skid plate. Then I'll remove the skid plate and gain access to the oil filter that's up above it. These are a 12 millimeter. There's five of them holding up the skid plate. These two hooks hold up the front of the skid plate. All right, this is a 3 8 extension. It doesn't quite fit the bottom of this plug. All right, I'm gonna use this 10 millimeter pipe plug socket. It's designed for that type of plug. If you don't have one, you can use a 3 8 extension. All right, this socket is a really good fit for this plug. So I'll just put it on the ratchet. I'm going to remove the plug and that'll give me access to the drain valve that's up above it. This little plastic tube is designed to drain the oil filter canister. It just pushes up into the canister and it drains oil out. It comes with the kit. If I insert this with one hand, I'll end up with oil in my armpit. So I'm going with the two thumb method. Just spread my elbows, give it a push, and I'm all clean. With the canister empty, I'll just remove this fill plug. You can see that it also removes the O-ring with it. While I'm here, I'll install this new O-ring. I've got some oil on my fingers, I'm just gonna lube it up and it goes right up here and that'll seal the plug. It also comes with the filter kit. Just snugging it up now with the ratchet. No need to over tighten it. All right, this is the AST filter wrench. Now I'm trying to get it up past this sway bar and onto the canister. And you can see that it's not engaging those tabs. There's just a slight clearance issue here. The wrench is too thick and it won't go up there. And at least on this application, this tool won't work. So it's a bit of a bummer. I'm kind of frustrated with it. And this is why I went out and bought uh, another tool. This is the wrench from ASR. It's a much different design than that AST. It's smaller, so let me try and get it up past this sway bar. And it does fit. I can get it on the canister, but it's only making contact with those two tabs. Let me see if I can turn it with the ratchet here. Oh, 
All right, so it, yeah, I got it, but I don't like the way it feels. It's, it feels sloppy. This is my choice for Toyota oil filters. It's the performance tool socket. Bit of a cheaper design, but you can see there's no clearance issues here. Little sloppy, but I haven't had any problems with it yet. Go ahead and, yeah, go ahead and remove that. There's an O-ring that seals this canister, keeps it from leaking. You've got to kind of fight it all the way to the end. Best part about that drain is that when you pull this, you're not gonna spill oil everywhere. Just a little bit left in there. We'll go ahead and pour it out. That's it. Go ahead and take it back to the bench. I'm just gonna use a pick to get that O-ring off of the canister. Um, I'll replace it with one that comes in the kit from Toyota. Make sure you know which groove to put it in. It's this one here, not all the way to the bottom and definitely not on the threads. All right, this is the new O-ring that came with the filter from Toyota. I just want to install it on the outside of this canister. I'll roll it over the threads and have it find its home here. All right, that looks pretty good. Let me grab a pick. You can see that it fits well in this groove. It's not binding, it's not rolled. All right, now just pull the filter media out of the box here and it just pushes over this uh, tube and down to the bottom. A little bit of oil. We'll lube up this O-ring, get it ready for install back on the car. back underneath the vehicle, ready to install the new filter. I'm starting these threads by hand. I don't want to cross thread these. They're made of plastic. I'm gonna finish tightening this with a wrench. You gotta fight that O-ring that seals it. Toyota recommends torquing to uh, eight, uh, 25 newton meters, which is 18 foot-pounds. I'm just gonna run it down till it's snug. Remember, it's plastic. That's it for the oil filter. Now it's time to drain the oil pan. All right, a 14 millimeter socket right now. It's pretty standard for a Toyota drain plug. And make sure you got that drain pan in the right spot. Zero W20 pours out pretty fast. Also remember, make sure that gasket comes off and you replace it with a new one. Again, I'm going to start these threads by hand and clean it up a bit here. Then I'll tighten it up with the ratchet. Just snug. Under the core support are these two oval holes that's where our hooks are gonna be going. A closer look at the skid plate now. That's the hook that holds up the passenger side. This tab locates it. Driver side hook and locating tab. 
And in the back, we've got three bolt holes. That just holds up the skid plate in the rear. And then again, near those tabs are the two in the front. All right, three screws and five bolts. We'll install the bolts first and then the screws. The most awkward part of the job All right, line up those hooks with the holes in the bottom of the core support. And now I'm just gonna hold it up with one of the bolts in the back. All right, that'll hold it. We'll go ahead and start the rest of them and then I can run them in with the impact. Just a quick look at that locating tab right there. It just locates the skid plate forward and aft. All right, up on the driver's side now, there's the hook. It goes through the hole and then you slide the skid plate to the passenger side to lock it. And here's the passenger. You can see that it's locked in place. All right, this is just the 12 millimeter. I start it by hand and then finish up with the impact. And three 10 millimeter screws hold the plastic in. Unscrewing the oil filler cap. And we can thread in the Motivex oil funnel. Just finger tight. Okay, we've got some 0W20, which Toyota recommends for this engine. It pours out pretty quick. You can see through that clear portion in the bottom of the funnel how fast you can, you can pour. I also like that I can take this container and just drop it right on the funnel and the funnel will support it. All right, five quarts down. And we'll move over to this side. We'll put in just short of three. Two point nine quarts is what we need here. Going to start the engine. I want to watch the oil pressure gauge there on the top left. Make sure I've got good oil pressure. And then we'll go ahead and reset the maintenance light. Scroll over to the vehicle settings and then down to reset. That's it. Filler cap is back on. One final check of the dipstick. And we've got the level right in between the two dots. Well, I'm all done here. It's good for about another 5,000 miles. If you want to pick up the Performance Tool socket, I've left an Amazon affiliate link down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. 
Click here to stay up to date on all my future videos. And click here to catch up on previous episodes. I'll wait up for you.